they will say that I have shed innocent blood. What's blood for, if not for shedding? With my hook for a hand, I'll split you from your groin to your gullet. Mother, father, what's afoot? Only possum black as soot. Mother, father, where to tread? Far from possum and his head. Here's a bag, now what's inside? Does he seek or does he hide? Can you spy him deep within? Little possum, black as sin. Today we'll be discussing the film Possum. Now Possum is a film that I stumbled upon uh, in my search trying to find films that have uh, a lot of tension and dread, a dread building type of atmosphere, you know, that, that affected me in a way that films like Hereditary, Mother, and The Witch did. And I stumbled upon a gem, Possum. Now this film, this film is very disturbing it's disturbing it's unsettling um the acting is very very good um the cinematography is great um the overall message of the story is great the tension building atmosphere is great uh the film right the main film the main protagonist is a, a disgraced puppeteer um you find out he's on his way back home you don't know why he's a disgraced puppeteer you don't know why uh he's so awkward and weird and uh, at the beginning of the film, you know, there's some children on a bus on the train station that, at the train station that he's at, you know, on the same train. They're getting off at the same exit. And he's kind of making the, the kid feel uncomfortable cause, just because of the way he's looking at him. Um, and, you know, they kind of hint, they kinda hint at, at maybe he's, he's a pedophile or something or weird with children because he is kind of awkward around children. But you start thinking, you know, why would they make a protag the main protagonist be a pedophile and we go through a journey with a pedophile? That's not the type of film you would want to make. And they kind of hint that he is, or they give you hints that he's a pedophile. Um, because uh, the, the same boy ends up uh, missing. You know, and the police are coming to the house that he's at, knocking on a door, searching for this kid. And um, all the time, uh, this entire time in the film, he has this brown bag. Um, which contains what most people would want to go see this movie for. It contains what you see in the movie poster. It contains a spider. A spider puppet that he made, right? And the spider puppet has extremely long legs. It's extremely creepy. And it has a human face on it, right? It's like it's, his eyes are black like a dog's eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's this black and lifeless doll with his mouth open with a spider body. It's really creepy. Um, and then you find out, you know, Uncle Morris, his uncle, who he goes to the house, Uncle Morris was a puppeteer he taught his dad he taught uh the main character's dad played by sean harris uh he, he sean harris's character uh at the beginning is reciting this poem that's talking about possum possum is the name of the puppet right there's this creepy poem that he keeps reciting uh throughout the first and second act of the film um, and then, you know, he, he meets Uncle Morris and, and the house is disgusting and it's weird. And he goes to the door at least to the basement and he's looking there and Uncle Morris is like going down, are we? And he's like, no. And so something's going on about something's going on with this basement, with this puppet in this bag and Uncle Morris. Because the entire atmosphere of this film is just like hopeless. It's really dark. It's really intense. It, it's, it's filled with dread. And each time... Uh, the main protagonist each time he gets rid of the bag for some reason the puppet always ends up right next to him when he wakes up and it creeps him out everywhere he goes he's trying to get rid of this puppet the puppet keeps popping back up and as the film progresses the imagery with the puppet gets worse and worse and worse it, it builds so much it builds so much tension and the atmosphere is is really really like hopeless the feeling of, of hopelessness and of dread is just all throughout this film, right? And and as the film progresses, each time the puppet comes back, it gets worse and worse and worse until finally it gets to the point where the puppet is actually moving on its own and following him and stalking him. And as we get to the climax, you find out that 
You find out the main protagonist's parents died in a fire and he had to go live with Uncle Morris. And Uncle Morris, obviously, there's something off about him because he's reading these weird poems. He's reading the poems that the young boy, the main protagonist uh, with, the, with the bag and a puppet possum, is reading. So you're starting to piece it together. I think Uncle Morris might have like abused this dude. This is probably why he's so fucking weird. So as the story progresses, he goes down into the basement. You know, after he had, it, it is too much pressure. It's too much, right? Too much tension. He finally goes into the basement. And by the, and it's really simple. It's not a jump scare, but it's one jump scare. Uh, Uncle Morris runs out with the same bag that he keeps possum, that he keeps, uh, the main protagonist keeps possum in and attacks our main character. And then you find out Uncle Morris was sexually abusing him as a child now what i pieced together is because this film is really it's, it's an art house horror film but it's done correctly it's so grounded in reality that the, the art house aspect of it doesn't confuse you you know what i'm saying it doesn't like there's some movies that are so art house for the sake of being an art house they don't give you any explanation you don't understand anything this film could have gone wrong in so many ways but this director matthew honus understands how to create an art house horror film but still keep it grounded enough in reality that it doesn't become ridiculous tedious or a headache you know i love films like the lighthouse i love going to go do research the lighthouse i really wasn't too uh, i love the film the acting the cinematography however um i'm not into too much greek mythology and neptune and poseidon so i wasn't really that interested in doing research and finding out about the film you know, and that's not his fault. That's just not what I have an interest in. I don't have an interest in Greek mythology. But uh, with with um, Hereditary, even then, that's an art house horror film for the most part. Not really bad, but it's grounded in reality. You can go do research and find out what happened. It's not that compl complex. Uh, Midsommar is not that complex. Um, the Witch is not that complex. You know what I'm saying? These are art house horror films, but they're grounded enough in reality that it doesn't become a chore to try to understand you know what I'm saying? You don't have to go fishing through 7,000 different YouTube theories just to piece together what the main story was about. You know, this film was done well. Uh, it, it flawlessly executed. And, and to continue, yeah. So, so Morris basically was molesting him this entire time. And he would tell, to keep, um, to keep Sean Harris's character, our protagonist, from, you know, telling and exposing him, he would tell him this creepy story and that's where you get Possum, the creepy puppet. Subconsciously, all the fear and trauma that he was facing as a child, he built into that puppet. So the puppet was essentially a metaphor to the, the type of, of eeriness and, and the type of dread and pain and trauma that follows someone who's been a victim of sexual abuse. And it happened multiple times. So he's not just like a one-time thing with his uncle. No, his uncle, he lived with him. So he constantly was sexually abused by his uncle. And um, so it leads to, you know, Morris basically assaulting him again in a second. Real disgusting. This dude is worse than Freddy Krueger. Uncle Morris is like the worst fucking character I've ever seen in any horror movie. Because he's worse than Freddy Krueger because he's not some nightmare demon. He's a real person. And he's a real person. You know, it, it's grounded in reality. So it's way more creepier than, you know, a Freddy Krueger character. You know, he's... Freddy Krueger still, was still scary, but this is a real human being. It's grounded in reality, which makes it more creepy for me because it's believable. There's people like Uncle Morris that exist, and they're sick, and they're demented. And um, uh, Alan Armstrong plays the character well because I really fucking hated this character, which also makes the ending scene so worth it, right? Because it gets pretty disturbing once Uncle Morris and expose and when he exposes himself and takes the bag off and is like, you knew it was me the whole time, didn't you? And and he's so Sean Harris, Sean Harris character is so traumatized, he he can't even react and protect himself and defend himself because he's just so traumatized. And then he finally snaps and says, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. And then he fucking snaps Uncle Morris's neck. And then there's a um there's some briefcase, uh, a suitcase, right? And it's moving, he opens it up, and it's the child that went missing from the beginning of the film. So the entire time, um, the, the Uncle Morris basically kidnapped this kid. And because the main protagonist is so weird and traumatized and awkward, 
he can't really express himself like a normal person could. So it comes off as he's the creep, he's the pred he's the pedophile, he's the uh, the child abductor as the film progresses, but then you realize like I said, no, that's not the case. He is actually the hero of this film. He actually saves the child that Uncle Morris kidnaps, right? And that entire time, the puppet, the, the, the idea and concept of the puppet that followed him no matter where he go, no matter where he went to put that baggage down, until he dealt with that, he couldn't kill Possum. He couldn't put the baggage down. He couldn't get rid of it until he dealt with and faced what created his trauma. It's a very, very dark film. It's very disturbing. It, it, the, 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 the imagery with possum is creepy. But this is a very, very well thought out, well told story. Right? To rank this film, with on IMDb it has a 5.5 out of 10. That shit's ridiculous. I highly disagree with that. This fucking film is not a 10 out of 10. It has a couple flaws. But... You don't, and you know, it's not that much dialogue in the film, but you don't care because, uh, uh, and like I said, yeah, trigger, trigger warning. If you're a victim of, of child abuse and, uh, sexual assault, uh, this film, I think, uh, can be really therapeutic and healthy because, yeah, it deals with those dark themes, but at the end, even though the film is so dark and it's so eerie and it's so, uh, disturbing and intense and dreadful, the main protagonist who was a victim of Uncle Morris's abuse still prevails and kills his Uncle Morris and is able to kill Possum, his guilt. You know what I'm saying? The guilt probably was from understanding and knowing that Uncle Morris was doing this to people, but that he didn't stop it. So more children got hurt because he failed to stop, because he failed to stop Uncle Morris, which is why the spider kept following him. He created the spider out of, of the story that Uncle Morris told him. So the spider itself represents all the negativity and dread that comes with that event, that traumatic event. And it's a very beautiful film. I think this film definitely deserves more attention than it's getting. However, I understand why people might be off to it. One, because it deals with pedophilia. Um, it deals with, uh, you know, it deals with the trauma of being a victim of sexual abuse. And it's not a very easy movie to get through, especially for survivors. Um, but... This movie is excellent. I love this film. It, it creeped me out. It was, I actually, so I don't jump at all. I watched The Nun with a blank expression the entire film. I watched um, uh, uh, The Curse of La Llorona <laughs> with a blank face the entire film. No expression, no jumps, nothing. I don't even watch horror movies with jump scares anymore. I watch films like this, you know what I'm saying? And, and like a possum, I trapped the devil, hereditary. These aren't jump scare films. These are films that scare you with their atmosphere. Their, their, their dreadful atmosphere building. And this is one of those films. And I give this, I would say, honestly, I give this film a 9.5. That's what I give this film, a 9.5. So if you haven't seen it, um, I recommend you watch it. I recommend you support Matthew Holness because this film is amazing. Sean Harris is amazing. Alan Armstrong, even though I fucking hate the character he played, he played the character well because you're supposed to hate him and I fucking hated this guy so much. I fuck Uncle Morris. He is worse than Freddy Krueger. He is the worst villain in a horror movie I've ever seen in my life. He is so disgusting. Um, this, yeah, this film's great. Um, this is the Dread Lord and you're watching a black horror review.